Visiting Madrid. Have you thought about visiting Madrid, the capital city of Spain? Let's take a look at some ideas of what to do when you visit. It's a great idea to explore some of the museums in Madrid. The Prado is one of the world's best. This beautiful national art museum has got the best collection of Spanish art in the world, including works of art from Francesco de Goya and Diego Velazquez. You may need to spend three whole days touring it. You should also know that entrance is free after 6 p.m. on Monday to Saturday and after 5 p.m. on Sunday. Another brilliant thing to do is visit Retiro Park. You can have a picnic or go boating on the lake there. You can also go on day trips or weekend excursions. What about visiting the ancient city of Toledo? It's only a 30-minute train ride from Madrid and its winding streets are full of history. Toledo has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1986 and it was the home of the famous Greek painter El Greco between 1577 and 1614. You could also visit the town of Segovia to enjoy traditional Spanish cuisine. Admire the Alcazar of Segovia, a beautiful castle located high up on rocks in the old city. Madrid is a wonderful city full of history and culture and there are plenty of beautiful locations to visit nearby. Useful language, opening remarks, general. How are you doing? I hope everything is going okay. Thanks for your letter. Thanks for your email. It was lovely to hear from you after so long. It was great to hear from you after so long. What wonderful news about. I was delighted. I was surprised. I was interested to hear that. Sorry to hear about. I really enjoyed hearing about. Sorry it's taken so long to reply. Sorry for not writing earlier. Фраза, які ми відкриваємо наш лист, починаємо наше листування. How are you doing? Як твої справи? I hope everything's going okay. Сподіваюсь, все в порядку. Thanks for your letter email. Дякую за твій лист. It was lovely, great, це було чудово від тебе почути після такої перерви довгої. What wonderful news about, які чудові новини про щось. What wonderful news about your visit or what wonderful news about your weekends. I was delighted, I was surprised, I was interested. Я був задоволений, здивований, зацікавлений почути про щось. Sorry to hear about. Шкода про щось чути. I really enjoyed hearing about. Я дійсно отримав задоволення про це слухати або про це почути. Sorry it taken so long to reply. Пробач, що так довго тобі не відповідав. Sorry for not writing earlier. Пробач, що не написав раніше. Making suggestions. Якими фразами ми можемо зробити якісь пропозиції комусь. If I were you, I would, I wouldn't. На твоєму місці я б робив щось або не робив. You should, shouldn't. To be slid, не slid. It would, might be a good idea for you to. It wouldn't, might be a good idea for you to. Це може бути гарна ідея для тебе зробити щось або ні. Why don't you? Чому б тобі не зробити щось? Have you thought of or have you thought about plus inform? Чи не думав ти про щось там? Have you thought about visiting Madrid? Or have you thought about going abroad? Another good idea is to. You could also. Інша гарна ідея, що зробити, або ти міг би також. Expressing an opinion. Як ми виказуємо свою точку зору. I think, я вважаю, I believe, я вірю. The way I see it, так як я це бачу, розумію. Expected result. This will, this would mean that. Це буде щось означити там. This way or that way, таким чином. If you do this, you would. Якщо ти зробиш це, то щось буде. If you do this, you would have a great experience or you would have great memories. Closing remarks, general. 
завершують якісь фрази, які ми завершуємо листування. Well, I'd better go now, get going now, get on with. Ну, я вже буду, все, я маю вже йти, маю завершувати. I hope that my suggestions help. Сподіваюсь, маю надію, що мої пропозиції допоможуть. Good luck with. Щасти тобі з чимось. Let me know how goes. Дай мені знати, як щось там проходить, відбувається. Hi, Tyler. It was lovely to hear from you. It's great news that you're going abroad to study, and I've got some suggestions I hope you will find useful. I think it would be a good idea if you tried to meet lots of people in the first few days. There'll be lots of activities during Freshers' Week. I think you should join some clubs or societies so that you have a better chance of meeting people with the same interests as you. I wouldn't worry about falling behind with coursework. Just make sure you do your assignments as soon as you get them. If you need any help organizing your timetable, just go and see your tutor. This way you won't fall behind in your coursework either. You just need to keep everything under control. I know it can be tough when you're away from friends and family for the first time, but why don't you try to keep in regular contact with them while you're away? The way I see it, it's easy to keep in touch with people these days using social media or video calls. That way you won't miss them as much. It would be such a shame if you missed out on this opportunity to study abroad. Don't stay here and regret it later. Enjoy the chance to do something new and different. You will learn so much more. I hope my suggestions help. Let me know how you get on when you get there. All the best, Frankie.